What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Google Chat. You might be confused because you might have seen this before. It used to be called Google Hangouts, but now they've updated it to Google Chat and they've put out a phenomenal app on your smartphones, both Android and iOS. And today I'm gonna to show you how to download it and how to use it when you wanna communicate with other staff in our district. The first thing that you wanna do is go to the App Store and search for the app called Google Chat. Then you're gonna search for the icon that has the green chat symbol with the A at in the middle. Once you download it, you'll then be prompted to log into your Mahanasen account and then you'll be taken to your home screen. Your home screen has two sections. On the bottom, you'll see chat, which are private messages, and rooms. Now this Google Chat is just like Facebook Messenger. It's almost identical. You can have group chats, which is the rooms, or your private chats, which is the chat feature. So if you go to rooms, you can see here that I have already been invited into two rooms. I'm in the What Works, which is our group with Mr. Chandler, Mr. Dilbone, and I'm also in the group called Draper Tech. And you can see who's in the group, in the room, by scrolling to the top here, and it says, here's who's invited, here's what we're talking about. And what's really cool about rooms is that you have different threads inside the room. So for example, in the What Works thread that I have here, we have Mr. Chandler's um, Teaching Science Labs in hybrid format. He's included a YouTube link. I have the ability to comment on it and then even give a reaction to his comment or even my own comment. And to do that, you are just gonna hold the comment and like press and hold on that and then you get this add reaction box pop up. You click on that and then you can find whatever reaction you want, tap it in there and it adds it to that comment. So if you're looking to get some feedback, you can use that to say, hey, which idea do you like better? Now you'll see there's a new thread in the same group where I talked about a how to create a new thread. And then you can see it's a new thread again right here talking about Monday's meeting. Then I added Mr. Dilbone to the group and we created a new thread because I have a task that I need to do for Monday's meeting and Craig let me know here through chat. So it notified me because when he typed in here, in the reply, he used the at symbol. You can start typing in the person's name just like how you would in a Google Doc and that person will then be notified in chat that they have been added or given a task. Now to add a new thread, all you need to do is hit that new thread button with the plus sign right down at the bottom. It opens up a new thread and it'll be posted to everyone in the room. Now to get out of the rooms, just hit that top left arrow and you're now back to that main screen where you can go back to chat where you can create a new chat by clicking that bottom right. And if you wanna create a new room, same thing, bottom right plus new room. Also, students do not have this chat feature. It's only turned on for the staff at mahanason.org. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. And most importantly, don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you next time.